Well, I, 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 I try to rely on three basic things to, to kind of get, uh, say, we're kind of onboarding, if you will, a new highly sensitive band. And by that, I mean it's someone who's starting to recognize the trait and wants to embrace it. Um, that's probably the number one problem for HSP men is the idea of accepting and embracing the trait. It's yeah. all of that conditioning from childhood, from infancy, up to the time that they're wherever they are in life as in adulthood or adolescence, where they're having to reconcile what they were told, what a man is supposed to be, and what they actually are authentically, that is their highly sensitive nature. So what I say is the very first thing a man should do is start educating himself as much as possible. He's got to recognize that he's got this trait. You know, that's one of the things that, that it really is important um, is to just say to yourself, yeah, that's me. Now, let me go find out about this trait, because there is a lot more information and more and more information coming out daily about high sensitivity. But there's enough information out there with blogs and books and and uh, YouTubes and uh, all kinds of stuff. And very soon, there's going to be a movie, a documentary oh, really? that was made by Will Harper. Uh, it's going to be uh, directed by Will Harper, who did the sensitive movie with Alanis Morrison in it. Oh, He's cool. done all the other sensitive movies. And we're hoping this year that it's going to come out. But it's going to be something I hope that we can, men can grasp and relate to and start that process of internalizing and accepting the fact that high sensitivity is a good thing. But the more you educate yourself, the, the more comfort level you have about the trait and you can start moving away from this idea when you hear too sensitive or too emotional that there's a reason that you have this trait. There's a reason why your brain is operating the way it is. And once you start to learn that, you can start accepting it within yourself. Um, and then finally, the last thing they need to do is once they've gotten comfort, a comfort level about it, and they can talk openly about it, is to go out and sort of evangelize the rest of the, uh, <laughs> the world by letting other highly sensitive men know that and by modeling some of these great traits that high sensitive people have, a nurturing, intuition, uh, creativity, uh, em empathy. I mean, all these, these great traits that we have that we really truly need in the world. We need it in, in boardrooms. We need it in government. We need it uh, in, in religious bodies. We need it uh, you know, in, in all aspects of human life. We need to start seeing more of this high sensitivity manifest itself.